first exposure to musical composition was writing for band. I fell in love with the medium itself and the, and the repertoire. I wrote quite a few works for band when I was an undergraduate student with Alfred Reed, who was one of the premier composers of band music at the time. And when I decided on graduate school, I knew the next composer that I wanted to study with was Vincent Persichetti, one of the great American symphonists whose music I truly admired. And both of them, through their music for band, instilled in me the importance of, of writing music of integrity for wins. How do you create the sense of long line uh, with, with a group of people who have to continually breathe in their instruments, but um, to make that an organic part of, of the musical composition? I'm so lucky to have the United States Coast Guard Band record this album of my music. They are truly one of the premier ensembles in the United States. There are seven works on this recording, three works that I composed originally for Wind Ensemble, and they are Christina's World, inspired after a painting by the American painter Andrew Wyeth, and then Point of Tranquility, inspired by a painting by Morris Lewis. And those two works are quite different in conception. The solitary image of Christina Olsen in the foreground of the painting, her back to us, her body turned, looking into the distance at her family's farmhouse. It was such an, an, an inspiring image to me to, to, to create this, this, this world, her world of sea and pasture and home and the need to return to that place that is so important to her. Point of Tranquility captures in sound Morris Lewis's gorgeous veils of color. The music is very lyrical, undulating figures that suggest washes of color, creating a, a, a contemplative sense of, of how you, you reach this gorgeous arrival, this point of tranquility. original work is called From the Field to the Sky, which was initially composed for the U.S. Air Force Band of Flight, and it is meant to describe the aspirational life of the Air Force and protecting our country not only on the ground, but from the air. The four other works on the recording are actually transcriptions of orchestral works. One of them is my saxophone concerto, Rush, and then two other works, Discover the Wild and United Artists, which are very bold overture type works for large ensembles. The remaining work is entitled Forever Free. I made this transcription at the request of the Wheeling Symphony Orchestra in West Virginia, who actually commissioned the work for the sesquicentennial, the 150th anniversary of the state, and we're delighted to have this first recording of Forever Free included on this album as well. I'm grateful to Noxos for the opportunity to explore different facets of my compositional life. I love teaching composition at the University of Connecticut, and I'm extremely excited that the United States Coast Guard Band is also located in Connecticut at the Academy in New London. And it seemed like such a natural fit for me to record this album with the Coast Guard Band. Mm -hmm.